G'day everybody, it's me again. I was out uh, hunting today and I found this. Uh, I was at, uh, actually looking for a forklift at a, well looking at a forklift at a lab that went out of business and they had this there and I basically said, hmm, I want. And I got. Um, it's a one horsepower General Electric motor and then a Trivac D8A pump. Liebold Vacuum Products Inc. Made in USA. If I look at the uh, viewfinder there and actually get it in frame. Um, I know somebody is probably going to know exactly why this is all set up like this and they'll be able to tell me, so please do. Uh, this appears to be a solenoid valve which you can activate with 240 volts. Um, obviously it just turns on and off. I'm not sure what this is. I'm going to pop the lid off and have a look. I wonder if it's a little filter or the desiccant or something in there. And of course there's the exhaust filter I believe. Well, yeah, air comes out of there when it's running. so. I would say that would be correct. I have a feeling this hasn't been used in a million years. I really do. It's, it's so mucky and dirty and, and yeah. Yeah, see that's the exhaust filter. It's full of red dust. I bet you this was up north. I bet you this was up north. A little bit dodgy there, but should do the trick for me quite nicely. Still, I'm not expecting a lab grade product here. Well, it is a lab grade product, but I'm not expecting to use it like one possibly. Use it for high voltage experiments. Maybe well, Aussie 50 was suggesting a vacuum gun. That could be done. That definitely could be done. Well, that comes off. I'll figure that out later. It doesn't have much oil in it. It's pretty much at the low mark or below so I don't really want to run it too much but we'll turn on the solenoid click so that's opened up the passage in there and oh yeah it should pull a stiff vacuum alright that's a lot better than any fridge compressor I've ever uh, played with like I said I don't want to run it because there's not much oil I don't want to damage it so, I'm going to have to find some oil. I wonder if it's um, something special or there's a, 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 you know, it says HE175 oil. I wonder if there's uh, another equivalent that I can use or if it's something special or do I have to get it from a lab supplier or can I get some maybe from a refrigerant supplier? Maybe they have vacuum oil at a, a fridgey shop. I'm not sure, but uh, let's pop that top off and see if there's a filter in there or what. Alrighty, well it appears my guess was correct. There is a filter up here. Um, it's just a mesh filter, nothing special. But it's full of desiccant or some other material, I'm not sure. I'll have to find out exactly what it would be. But it's all in very good nick. It doesn't look like it's been, uh, doesn't look like it's got too much dust inside, so hopefully the pump is fine. And there's a little bit of oil up in here, which makes me think maybe it was upside down for a while, or that oil might be there to actually catch dust or other nasties that are, are going to fall inside this filter. In fact, I think that's exactly what it's for because it enters in through the side. So I would say we'd get our flow around the outside and then it would come over the top. Or at least that's what I'm thinking. There's our little... It sits on the top. But yeah, that gets all clamped right. Yeah, that all gets clamped down forces the air to come in the sides and then flow up over the sides of the, the little filter and then down through the filter, um, if that makes sense. Uh, sorry about my camera work guys, it's shocking today, it's shocking, I'm not paying attention. But yeah, Liebold Vacuum Products Inc, 85415, that doesn't actually have a Liebold part number on it, I think somebody made that. Filter's got a part number. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that, quite happy. I wanted a vacuum pump, but I don't think I really wanted one this big, but I ended up with one this big. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll uh, figure out how to make some fittings and bits and pieces and then uh, start doing some HV stuff again, I suppose. I'm not sure yet. Gotta finish putting this power supply together one of these days. Mm. Anyway, thanks for watching.